Alright, what is up you guys? This is Jinzo and or Gonzalo bringing you guys a quick little small tutorial on how to um, stream gaming on YouNow if you guys ever use that. It is a broadcasting website where you can broadcast different types of categories. It's actually pretty cool. You get to meet a lot of cool people on there. But every time that I'm gaming I get loads of questions saying how do I, you know, put my, my TV screen, which is like my gaming, onto my broadcast with the face cam. And I'm just going to be showing you how to, you know, how to do that. Pretty much using an Elgato because that's what I use in Elgato, a game capture card to capture my 360 and or any other games. I'm guessing it works same, the same way that I'm doing it. It'll probably work for an Xbox One, a PS4, uh, PS3 and all that. So yeah, let's get started. What first you're going to pretty much need is obviously an OBS. I mean, OBS and or XSplit, you need both of those. That's what I use. So I do use my OBS which is this one as you can see I already have a UNOW setting and a GMOD and a windowed gaming just for any gamings that I have and just for my regular webcam and you're also gonna need an Elgato HD um, HD60 and if you guys don't have that you guys can go buy one it's not too pricey it's like in between it's like 200 something I bought it because it was worth it for me because it's something that I want to do but if it's something that you're generally trying to pursue uh, like you know pursue a career in gaming the by all means go for it and get it but pretty much I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple. It is not the hardest thing to do, honestly. Freaking a seven-year-old can get this working. It's really simple, trust me. So pretty much what you're first are going to want to do, let's start off with the settings on OBS. It's rather simple. It's There's nothing really to mess around with. So, And I'm assuming if you're watching this, you do know how to set up your um, OBS. and I mean, not OBS, but your Elgato to your TV and into your computer. So let's get started on how to set it up on OBS first. You're going to have to add a scene. If you guys ever worked um, OBS and you guys might know how to do this. Uh, say you just want to use it for instance for gaming. So let's just keep it for gaming. Alright, and after you have typed in gaming, you're going to want to right click on sources. And on sources you're going to want to add a video capture device. So you would click on video capture device. And you're gonna, uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Elgato. So how about Elgato? And as you can see, right as it picks up, right when I go onto it, it picks up Elgato Capture HD and also has it for a webcam. My other webcam that I have, a Cyberlink webcam, and that has my exploit. But since we are using Elgato, we will click on Elgato. And for, I'm not too sure. Let me check real quick what my uh, setting is for my YouNow for my Elgato because there is a little bit of a delay when you're doing this. Everything's the same. Okay, well, yeah, pretty much everything's the same. So, so just do game capture. Crap, not game capture. My apologies. Video capture device, and then Elgato. And then, as you can see, it's already here. Uh, you can set up your custom resolution. So, the custom res resolution required by you now is it it's to be 640 by 480p. You can either run it on 30 to 60 FPS, but I prefer 30 because it minimizes the time, the lag while you're broadcasting and the uh, amount of delay. But yeah, it has to be 640 by 480p. And if you guys don't know how to do that, you can just literally just type it in. 480 and just bring it right down to 30 FPS. If you have a really good computer, if you want to, you can uh, broadcast it on 60 FPS, but my it's optional you really don't you know have to do 30 but I go for 30 so it minimizes the the delay in my video and in my um you know my face cam but pretty much there's nothing really to mess around with that you can just keep it at that and you're gonna press ok and as soon as you click preview stream you will see it pop up on um, OBS right now so boom and then there it is so as you can see, there it is. So yeah. Now, if you want to add a face cam, it's pretty much the same process. You will right click, go to add, go to video capture device, and then say you want to put webcam. And then you would go onto whatever webcam you have. I am using a Logitech HD webcam. So then I would click OK from there. And then click preview stream. And it should go on in about a moment. And boom, there it is. 
And uh, that is really big if you guys can see. But what you guys can do is you guys can edit the webcam. So you would go to edit scene and you guys can minimize it to whatever size you guys want. Keep it right there. You can move it around wherever you want. As long as you have edit scene clicked off. So, okay. Now that we do have everything set up, it's really simple to just have this stream on to uh, OBS. But let me go through a couple, a uh, little bit of the off the settings. What's general and encoding, everything can be the same. I have my max uh, bit rate uh, down to a thousand. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know if it's 6,000 when it, right when you download it. But if you want, you can bring it down to a thousand. I think it could be either between 3,000 or maybe 4,000, but it's whatever you prefer. Your broadcast settings, make sure your guys' broadcast settings is set to live stream. Because if you're just recording, you'll keep it at file output only. But since in this case, we are going to be broadcasting, it'll be good on live stream. Okay. For video, we don't really have to mess anything with video. Um, make sure you click yes. Anything on video, um, the way it is, the way your Elgato is set up, it should uh, really not, you shouldn't really mess with these settings. But if yours doesn't say 640 by 480 on your general settings on your video, on your video settings, then change it down to that. Um, audio, if by any chance you're using, uh, for instance, a microphone or some other type of audio um, device, I suggest you select the one that you are using. And for everything else, you don't really, for hockey's and advanced, none of this, you don't really have to um, mess around with. And as soon as you guys, um, make sure you guys, when you guys are uh, going through everyone, make sure you guys hit apply. That way it saves it for you, and then you're going to click OK. So pretty much we're done with OBS. You pretty much everything, it's really simple. If you want to add um, what's like text and all that, I will show you guys in a different video if you guys want me to. But right, let's move on to actually getting to the broadcast. So this is my you now. My you now is Jinzo Production. So if you guys do at one point want to go check that out, by all means, go fan me. I do broadcast every single day at 5 p.m. and or maybe 3 or 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is um, California time for me. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is you would go to go live. Right when it takes you to go live, you would have to, you know, bring up your volume on your mic, whatever mic you're using. So you'd click, you would lower your, um, bring up your volume for your mic. You would pick which mic you are using since I'm using an Elgato. Not an Elgato, I mean a, um, a Logitech. I would click on my Logitech um, headset. See, so it's checked off right there. And whatever camera you're using. So I am using a Logitech HD webcam. So that's what I'm using. Okay, so that's pretty much simple. You just do whatever you, you know, set up your settings. And then you would click a tag. I always go on gaming. Um, you can put, put a picture. And you can also type, you know, like whatever you want to type. So that's good. So I'm just so you can inform your fans on what you're going to do on your stream. Now, this part's not tricky. It's simple. It's really simple. You would click on this little advanced options right here. You would click on it and use external stream tool. And you can see it says right here, it even tells you it has to be 640 by 480 P. Usually what the 640 by 480 P is used for is for people who are on mobile. It fits their screen and it actually looks somewhat okay for them. And you see it says download and install OBS since it is compatible with OBS. You can also use XSplit, but for me what the problem is with my XSplit is it doesn't on streaming, it doesn't play my audio. It just play my game audio, it just plays my uh, my mic. It just picks up my mic and that's it. So yeah. So pretty much when you're when you're right here, all you're gonna have to do is go to generate stream. And it should see your stream URL and your stream key. So let's just move this onto this side and bring up our OBS. On our OBS, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to broadcast settings. And as you, like I told you before, keep it on live stream. And this is a problem with um, you now. Every time you're about to stream, you have, you have to um, keep changing your FMS URL and your stream key. That has to be changed constantly every single time you're going to broadcast. So all only thing you'll have to do is you'll right click and you'll copy each one that goes into some one goes into a stream URL. Paste. This one as well goes into a stream URL. Then you're gonna paste and then you're gonna click OK. I'm not gonna stream because I don't want to alert my fans and then me just go on and go off. But then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to start streaming and it'll start streaming right away. It's really simple. 
it is not the hardest thing to do. Trust me. It's it's really simple. Oh boy. Okay. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It is really simple. If you do guys, if you guys are having trouble and have any questions, make sure you guys do drop a like and put a comment down below. If you guys have any questions, um, just make sure, you know, just let me know down and I'll try to help you guys out the most I can. And yeah, well, if you guys still like this video, please, you know, like and subscribe to this. That would be greatly appreciated. If you guys do have any more questions, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to get to you as soon as possible. But yeah, if you guys want to go for it and uh, fan me on my you now, I do stream every day. So if you also do have any questions on there when I go live, you guys can totally ask me on there. And yeah, you guys have an awesome day and good luck to you.